Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today I am working on another quilt pattern and I'm doing some troubleshooting right now. What I'm wanting to do is to use up some of the leftover fabric from the Love Note line and um, here's one of the pieces here. Uh, this is a one yard piece and I'm going to use this for the outer border. So I'm not going to touch this for the body of the quilt. Um, I came up with a design with using two different blocks. One's going to be an applique block and one's going to be a piece block. And um, I'm alternating them. And since I have this line all spread out back here behind me and I used uh, a lot of the fabric um, that I had planned to use in this new quilt. So I'm having to substitute fabric. So that's what I'm working on right now. So I went from a 12 block quilt down to a nine block quilt and um, changed some of the fabrics around and um, just adjusted the pattern so that it will fit the fabric that I have available. Now I could just keep substituting and have all the blocks a, a little bit different, but I kind of wanted to have them, uh, the piece block, I wanted those all the same. And then the applique blocks, I've got two different colorways planned for those, but I could make, um, there's five of those blocks, I could make them all different or make four of them of them the same and the fifth one which would go in the center make that different so um, I'm kind of working this out as I go so um, I wanted to show you what I'm doing and so I'm gonna pop up a picture of the the graphic from my EQ8 software of the design that I'm working on um, I got this idea from just searching on the web with different um, sites and looking I was looking for a bird pattern now I you know birds are fairly easy for me to draw so I I found a pieced one that I liked but um, from what I could tell I couldn't find the pattern for it. I just saw the image of it and the image had a lot of pieces in it and I wanted to uh, simplify that so I put that into EQ8 and I was able to um, get rid of a lot of the sewing lines, a lot of the seam lines, but it's still, you know, somebody else's pattern and it's not a traditional pattern or a vintage pattern. So I didn't want to do a tutorial on somebody else's block. So um, what I did was draw uh, an applique block and let me see if I can pull one out here. I've got a large one that I'm going to use and it's very simple. And I'm going to do this and it's going to be applique and I'm going to use fusible web instead of doing the edge turn or the interfacing where you, you know, turn the whole thing over. You have two sides and then you, you know, turn it inside out like Lori Holt does her, her method. So instead of doing that method, I'm just going to use fusible applique. I think it'll be the easiest to do on this because these shapes are, um, they're a little, they're not really odd. I mean, I could do this, but I think I'd rather use the fusible and I do have some fusible webs. So I'm going to do that. And, um, this will be, since it's a small quilt, it'll just be a wall hanging anyway. So, um, it's even, I think it's going to be too small for a lap even. I don't know. I look at my computer, but I can't see the, the, size on there. It's not on that page that I'm on. But anyway, um, that's my plan. So I'm going to uh, start pressing the fabrics. I'm going to cut them up. Now the block is a um, puss in the corner. So it's all squares. Uh, we've got some four and a half inch squares and two and a half inch squares to cut. And um, I'll do that and get started sewing those together. And I'll show you how I'm doing that here in uh, just a moment.
I have all of the pieces cut out for the Puss in the Corner blocks for this quilt. And I wanted to show you the pieces. And there, I will put the um, written instructions for this block in the description box below. There will be a link there. You can click on that and you can get all of those instructions. But I have everything sorted out for each block. These are all the pieces I need for each block. I need four of these blocks. But here are the pieces. I'll sort them out. For A, you need four four and a half inch blocks. For B, you need four two and a half. For C, you need one four and a half. And for D, you need twelve four and a half. These are the background pieces. So this block really goes together pretty easy and I'll, I'll lay that out for you so that you can see it here. And I think with this block it's probably one of the easiest ways to put it together is to just lay it out. Um, the only unit that you have to make is a four patch unit. And you have to make four of those. Those will go in the corners. So here's um, how that's going to go. And then for the corners, this is going to be the four patch units and you're going to put your print right in the corner here, the inner corner. And then all of these will be your um, background squares. Now my original plan was to use a teal for the large pieces and a peach for the inner pieces. But I had used a lot of teal in the um, flower garden quilt. That's what these fabrics are left over from. And so I didn't have enough to do it that way. So um, I switched them around. And I had just enough of this to do that. I didn't have much left over at all. So. Um, of course you can make each one of these blocks a different colorway with different fabrics. You can use the same colors but different fabrics. But I wanted uh, floral pieces in this block so that, that kind of limited what I could do. So now these are all laid out. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make four patches, four four patches for the corners and then I'll be able to put everything into rows and then sew all the rows together and then I'll have those done. Okay, so I'm going to do all the four patches and I'm going to just assemble these with um, a scant quarter inch and just do, sew these all together in pairs and then sew, press and sew the pairs together. I need to find my foot pedal. Here we go. So now I'm ready to put the four patch together and I've pressed the seam over towards the print fabric and then the two whites that go together I just pressed to one side so I just need to turn that so that the seams will nest together and then sew that seam.
Okay, so here are the four patch units. So I'm going to lay them back into the block here and um, then I want to sew all these rows together. Now I'm going to press the seams and sew the rows together. And I'm going to go ahead and pin these together at the seam so they won't shift. So there is the block and I'm going to press the seam and I'm going to press these seams towards the center. So there is the completed block. Okay, so that is it for this video today. This is the Puss in the Corner block and um, this is going into a quilt that will have a, an applique bird block in it. So I will have that video for you next week and um, then I'll put the quilt together and of course I'll video all of that too so that you can see how this quilt goes together. So that's about all I have for today but I will have the applique block for you next week and then I'll be putting the, the quilt together in a third video. So this will be a three-part series on I'm calling this a birds and wreaths or wreaths and birds. I can't remember. I don't, I don't really have a name for this quilt yet. So um, we'll see what it looks like when we get it all put together and then maybe I can come up with a name for it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes up. And in the meantime, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.